while ago, but I replaced like the fuel filter, air filter, and the crank angle sensor. Oh, this. And that fixed it. Oh, this one. But that's the only How many miles on it? 140,000. 140,000? 140, yeah. It says 192 on the gauge cluster. That's how I get a new one. Wow. Man, the gauge, even the. Wow. Oh, okay. Mint, man. You said it's a new dash? Yeah, a new dash. No cracks. I condition it like once a week, but it gets pollen on it a lot. Wow. Wow, let me come on that side, man. Oh yeah, I bet you don't know about this. Look, yeah, you can't get this one out of here. You did it yourself, bro. You can... Got the secret. Secret box. Oh, wow. Dang. You can open that up. Wow. Like the box you want. Like the nice, nice. Yeah. Bro. Yes. Yeah, but the problem. Like, okay, because you know, you know, I used to own the Del Sol, so I feel like similar. You know what I mean? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because the Del Sol's had that thing in the back too that probably like opens up, like two of them. In the yeah, and then it leaks. You have the yeah. you have the top as well, so it leaks a little. What's some of the problems that you've ran into though since you've like owned it, Grayson? Like right here. Yeah. This is probably the biggest problem. Just treating all this. Oh, Anywhere, you think you yeah. had? To, have you? I seen you done. A, have you done a little spot welds, or you just um, been trying to touch it up so it doesn't it continue it to doesn't rust? Doesn't get worse. Yeah. What's up you with know? this? What are we doing? Silicone. Okay, so we. That's that. That's just like the filler from the bill. Yeah. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Good with this though. So far, how long you had the bill on here? Um, I say like I got it like three months in, so maybe like. It's been pretty much like the look of the car yeah. since you've owned it. Yeah. What made you go with that specific one? I see it's custom too, because it doesn't fit all the way. Yeah, um, that's because, that's so it goes right here and fills in this spot. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, but I went with this one because like I didn't want something that was too big. Uh huh. And the turbo wings didn't look that good to me. Oh, they did yeah. have the yeah, yeah they the did have the turbo didn't look wing. That good to me, so I went with this one. But what was up with the sticker right here? That one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone walked into the store I work at and just gave us some. So. Have you, has somebody said something about that specific sticker before? No, not yet. Yeah, that's a pretty dope sticker. That's a pretty sticker. But Chad, what kind of exhaust? It's a Sebring Racing. It's from um, this, I mean, if you got a Z, you know the Z store. Yeah. So it's a C, uh, Sebring Racing, or Sebring Tuning uh, catback. Very nice, man. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. Huh? Oh, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> so you said Tribby Red actually said something about this yeah, on the yeah, story yeah. on the Instagram. He put it on his story, and then he commented on it, and then that's that's my most liked post now. For real? Yeah. Nothing really that special under here, but I thought it was, might as well. Yeah, what made you go with the Sparkle racing seat, buddy? Um, I mean, I just didn't really like like NRG because everybody's yeah, got like an NRG everybody, seat. yeah. And I didn't want to go with two because that one's so nice. And it's yeah. like wow. Yeah, that one's real nice. Was right. the was the original driver's seat that nice? No, no, no. Both of the seats were terrible. But oh. I got, <laughs> but look, like I got a parts car, right? Okay. And that's where I got the dash. That's where I got the front end, and that's where I got that seat over there. From your parts car? From the parts car. Yeah. Wow. Man. Wow. Door shuts pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I might. I see you got a couple spots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you touching them up? You know what I yeah. mean? What's going on here? So to stop yeah, some of the some, to stop leaks because. This was like rusting in a little bit, okay. but I, I primered it and sealed it with this for now until okay. I get some urethane to put in here and press the trim back in. Like wow. some, um, like the silicone guns, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, that seal windows and stuff. Oh, you gonna put that on there? Yeah. Okay. I do everything myself. 
Yo, Grayson, man, you're doing a good job. I mean, you know, the next thing, you're learning. Yeah, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the clutch fan with an E-fan, two E-fans from wow. Maxima. Wow. And wire it into my ignition so when I turn the car over, the E-fans start going and it takes weight off the, it takes like um, a pull off the engine so you make like five more horsepower. Oh, for real? Yeah. Cools it off? Yeah. So, and this it, the, yeah, so, so, what, so, the, so hold on, what motor are we talking? VG30 V6. Okay. Uh, three liter. Break it down. What we what numbers are we talking? Uh, like not very much horsepower for stock. It's like 168. Okay. But I imagine now maybe like 170, 75 because I done like the air filter. I done new distributors. I done some upgraded fuel rails. Oh, you and, did? Yeah. Because the fuel rails, the fuel rails and the fuel injectors from the factory. They got recalled. Hold on, yo, that pile. Everybody it's walking over to the pile. Bitch, dude. Oh my God. dude just but hit I the pile. Hit I heard that too. That was bad. Warm. Nightmare, yo. Yeah. Warm. Yo, step. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. That's three potholes in one, you know what I mean, intersection, yo. And all ten feet together. All right, back to the 300, man. Hey, it's worse than Richmond, though. So, man, so, all right, so, all right, so, shut the, all right, so we know about the motor. Yeah. So, what about the front end? Let's show the people what about the front end. Let's check them out. Let's shut the hood. Oh, yeah. Let's see them about the front end. Wow, oh, you got some more little wells and stuff. Okay, wow, okay. So you, you bought this hood like this. You got it like nah, this. Nah, the hood actually had, like, this is where the exit's going. Oh. I cut it all out to save some weight. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So everything's straight. I see it's got, like, a rivet right here. Is it everything going to be oh, all right? Yeah. Or? Actually, um, when I put these on, the nuts actually stripped off from the Ooh. bottom and the hood flew up. No, it, oh, no. my God. Are you serious? Yep. Wow, so that's why we got that looking like yeah, this. Yeah, it flew up and it bent it all along here and right here. So it was straight. Nothing was wrong with the hood when you first yeah, got it. Yep, it was nothing. a mint hood. Mint hood. Mint hood, mint hood from the parts car. The parts car was mint. Just that parts work. car sound like you had some pretty good parts on that car. Yep. So what's going on? So what's the difference between this setup and the original setup? Uh, like some slimmer lights, like the slimmer like face. Yeah, so if you look on here, uh -huh. that's the old face, uh -huh. and it had that this ugly like uh, a license plate holder in the middle, and I didn't like that. And then um, when I actually put the face on, it looked like, you know, here's the parts car. Oh wow! That I bought. Yeah. And then here's the face that I got now. So you can see, like, old and new. Like, the face is, like... Yeah. The new face it's boxier. is... boxier. No, yeah. The new face is, like, The old bubbly. one was boxier. Yeah, the, the old one was yeah. boxier. Yeah. And like then... It, like, it went, like... There's the hood before. Yeah. Before, you know, all the damage. Oh, wow. Mint. And there's the parts car in the back. <laughs> oh, it's in the back? Okay. Yeah. So you do all the work yourself. Yeah, all of it. Man. Except, yeah, except one time I had to get a clutch put in. And I could I didn't have the lift, so I had to go to my my dad's friend's shop to actually use his lift to do my clutch. Did you put the clutch in yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about doing it all yourself, man? Honestly, I mean it's not that hard. Like if you just like know what you're doing in the steps, and you just go with your steps, it should be fine. But the only part where I had really had to wait, and I couldn't do myself, was resurfacing the flywheel, uh -huh. because I had to actually take it to a machine shop, and they had to machine it for me. Because I don't have the like the tools for that. Oh, that that dude just hit that pothole yeah. too. No, bro, hey yo, hell, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. So yeah, man. So what? Like, so let's check out the wheels, man. You know? Yeah, let's check out the new wheels, man. Let's show them what look you're going for now. Let's show them what you got it seat belted in, okay? Yeah. You got it. He got the seatbelt on that bad boy. Yeah, so. Okay. Yes, six, sir. 16 by 8. Ooh. Machine lip, one piece. It Let's looks... see him beside there. Let's see him right beside it. Let's see what look we going for. Ooh, worn. Yeah. Porsche worn. Hey. Hey. Yes, I can see. Yeah, I can. Yeah. You can see it? Yeah. yeah. I know you can't oh, wait, you know, man. Yeah, they're in here because I'm getting them put on either tomorrow or Thursday. Oh, 
I've been telling him this Dang. whole time. I can't wait for him to put those fucking rings on. For real? Uh, that's all he needs. That's all I need. And some paint. Done. Alright, man. Well, what year and how many miles? 85, 140,000 miles. Okay. Five speed manual. Okay. Keep talking, bro. And look out for Grayson. What's your Instagram? 2.tone.z. Okay. And what about the spirit? You know what I mean? Let oh, them know. The spirit JP? Uh oh. Uh, I mean, probably starting like next year, maybe. Next year, I'm probably going to start doing it. For sure. Like, you got it in your mind already. Yeah, I got it in my mind already. Okay. But there's some things that I need to do to get this ready. Like, you know, the new rims. I need to put an e-brake in there. Or oh, like yeah, the, for sure. Yeah. The handbrake because I don't have one. Uh-huh. I need to upgrade my brakes because those are still stock. Yeah. And I also need that S13, uh, you know, the dual, the dual caliper. Yeah, setup. yeah. That's I what. To, I need to yeah. The, to the dual caliper setup. Okay, you're so going to do the, okay. That in, yeah. yeah. That's going to be a real nice setup for you. You're going to feel the big difference. Yeah.